Hey, welcome back to Cuba Data Science Channel. A couple more things I forgot. One is, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Cuba Data Science Channel, go ahead and click the red S at the bottom right hand corner. And also, don't forget to smash that uh, that, that uh, like button down there also. And finally, I will, I will include a link to my GitHub repository where, 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 my, where my spreadsheet examples will be stored. And you're more than welcome to go out there and download them for yourself. Again, those are for uh, LibreOffice Calc only. But the, every, the code is identical for Excel also and Google Sheets, all right? So anyway, thanks so much. And uh, oh, by the way, uh, there's also going to be a link to the uh, Buy Me a Coffee in the description below. I'd appreciate it if you would be generous enough to uh, click that link and buy me a cup of coffee. Okay, now on with the show. Thanks so much. Welcome back to the Cable Data Science Channel. So I'm getting ready to create a, a template for my cook for my, uh a COVID analysis 19 template. This template's going to be to analyze, do some basic analysis for the U.S. states. Okay. You can, you can of course, use the same template to to analyze, say, a county within a state. Okay. But anyway, so the, the, the three, we're going to start over here with my database. Uh, I'm using an SQL database. The data's from the New York Times. I had, you have to go to, out, of, out of the box, uh, New York Times is cumulative totals. I've had these totals split out into to data cases and deaths rather than cumulative. I ran a simple query, new cases, new deaths, from the, state, from the states daily, the states of Ohio sorted by date. So now we come over here like so, come all the way down, come all the way back up to here. So we come down here. What? Now I'm using uh, SQLite and DB Browser. Both uh, SQLite's an excellent free database, very small, very fast. DB Browser is a really good way to browse and and do some query work on your database before you import it into your into your spreadsheet. So I'm selecting the highest numbers. I'm gonna say copy with headers. Back over here. Now we got this. Now, since these are daily numbers already, we don't need to worry about uh, about uh, about calculating the daily total. We could, of course, calculate cumulative totals, but where's the, where's the fun in that? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Next, we're going to calculate a. a And also the mortality rate. Okay, so the seven-day average is very simple. It's this two, so it's two plus seven is nine. Uh, we're going to say C two to to C nine. And all we've got to do is drag this down here. So that's my moving average for deaths. That's a seven day moving average for my deaths. Okay. Mortality rate is very simple. It is. Deaths mortality rate is simply deaths divided by cases. Okay. Now we got mortality rate. Okay. Now, when you when you come back and you and you add the data to Mars, you have an extra row down here. All you got to do is come over here, come like this, pull it down. Now you got your information for the Mars in there. Okay. 
Let's go with this for right now. So now we got our data portion, our data wrangling done. Now let's do our basic plots. Daily cases. Okay. Daily deaths. Now we're going to do daily deaths, but we're going to add in the 70 moving average on top of the deaths. Okay. And the main reason for that is just to get a little more, let's take, to, to cut through some of the volatility, the daily volatility. Okay. So we got Okay. And finally, we're going to do the uh mortality So now we got the mortality rate here also, okay? So this is our basic uh, template, okay? This is, this is our template. So now to actually use it, you, I would take this and I'd do a save as. And back over here, save it to a spreadsheet. Okay? So now we're all set. So now I got my spreadsheet all saved. And all you got to do for, for another state, just copy, do a copy of this. Paste in a new number. So that's really all there. Is, that's really all there is to creating a to to creating a template, which you can use to analyze almost all the COVID nineteen data you can find by country, by U.S. state, or even by us, uh, or maybe country and province within the state, uh, yeah, within the U.S. You can also do it. You know, like I say you can do it by state or by county within a state. Okay. So anyway, thanks so much for your time. Hopefully, you, once again, you saw how simple it is to use Excel to analyze COVID-19 data and understand what's really going on. Okay. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on the next report.